Hi, darlings. How are you? This is going to be for my Taurus. And this is going to be for the week of the 1st through the 6th of May. I will be using my Clarity, oops, Clarity Tarot deck. <laughs> and to clarify, I'll be using the classic tarot. I hope you guys are doing well and taking care of yourselves. So Taurus, this is going to be for you. The Five of Swords. Where love is concerned, there's arguing, but arguing is not the answer. And money, you need to avoid arguments and you need to avoid your enemies. You know who they are. The Four of Cups. You feel like withdrawing from love. You feel like just withdrawing your affections you know you're like it's all this arguing and where money's concerned you're attached to money and security the four of cups then the seven of pentacles You're making some kind of small steps to improve. Um, you are making some steps, some improvements. I don't know. I don't know if you're the one who is the one that's arguing. However, financially, you're starting to see your gains. And the Six of Pentacles balanced. I say both emotionally and financially. And the Knight of Swords. There's going to be some kind of shift in um in your relationship and you might be finding you a new job you might be looking for and there's a job shift for you as well um the five of wands you need to let go of the bickering okay it doesn't solve any problems you got tension possible tension at work also gossip stay away from it Five of Cups. You have some regret or some remorse. <sighs> or it could be resentment, you know, um, having emotional negative thoughts in regards to whoever it is that you're arguing with. Or whoever you, whoever you have been arguing with. And the Three of Swords. You're also feeling unfulfilled. And do not throw away good money after bad. Do not throw away good money after bad. Three of Swords. Yes, there's argument. There's argument in this union. That sadness, broken heart. But you need to ask yourself, is this union worth saving, okay? And you might have, might be unhappy in your job. That's why you're going to be looking for a new job. And it could be due to gossip at work and tension. 
And the Page of Pentacles, manifestations. You're manifesting love or you might be meeting someone through work. But it's not going to be romantic. It's going to be for practical reasons. You will know when the time comes. <laughs> if it hasn't come as yet. And money. Manifesting. Money is going to come. Okay. So with the arguments and everything, uh, you just want to move on. You're tired. You're really tired of this. And this is the Queen of Pentacles. You might be the one doing the arguing. Are you? Because I have um, on top of the Five of Swords, I got the Six of... I have the Six of Swords and the Queen of Pentacles, which is you, Taurus. The relationship might be ending. Um, this card, the Queen of Pentacles, also says focus on your home, family, success, and abundance. On top of the Four of Cups comes the star and the Five of Pentacles. There's still hope on the horizon, okay? Don't lose the faith and get out of your mind. The Five of Pentacles is the lack of lack mindset, okay? You feel like you don't have or you feel sad. So that gives you this feeling like, you know, nothing is going right. Everything is wrong. Or you might have lost a little bit of money. Um, you might have suffered a financial loss of some sort. If that's the case, it's only temporary. Because remember, we got the Seven of Pentacles here. You got the seven of pentacles, so it's temporary. You gotta stop this worrying. Now, you're still gonna have a towel moment. Okay, it's gonna be sudden change. It's gonna be a little chaotic. But it's gonna give you sudden insight. Always expect the unexpected, okay? But then again, to me, if you always expect the unexpected... That means it could be negative. To me, the uh, it, it sounds kind of negative. You know what I mean? So I don't want to expect the unexpected. You know, I just want to be right here, right now. So you're going through or you went through or you're about to go through a towel moment. But this towel moment has something to do with finances and improving yourself, Okay. It's going to give you new ideas and you're going to be very, very curious. I got the tower and I got the page of swords. You might have some contracts or something. There's So there's going to be a little chaos. It might be a whole lot of things going on that makes you feel like this. Like you're having a tower moment, you know, like like chaotic. Shake, things are shaking up, you know. But at the same time, too, where love is concerned, this could be because of the broken heart or the ending of a relationship. And the Six of Pentacles. This is for both your benefits, okay? Um, for the Six of Pentacles, just this separation is um, for both your benefits. Or was this what kind of loss was this? This is that arguments. The argument. You're going to be sharing stuff. You're going to split things up and you're going to share things equally. Okay? Where work is concerned, you might have some financial backing here. I do have the Hermit and I have the Ten of Pentacles. The Ten of Pentacles, the Hermit is going within or something coming to completion. And the, um, the Ten of Pentacles, I would say, um, or accomplishment, the Hermit. Um, 
unexpected wealth, some unexpected income coming. And then the Knight of Swords. Because of that, there's going to be some kind of shift in the relationship, in your relationship. But of course, I mean, if there's going to be a separation, there, there, there will be, of course, the shift. It's going to be an end of a cycle. In the beginning of something new, you're going to be releasing the old, okay? To start something brand new. And you are going to be above your challenges, no matter how you feel right this moment. So you need to get out of your head, okay? Stop thinking lack. You're okay. You are above your challenges. So the five of wands, conflict again. And four of um, swords, you need to rest and relax after this painful ending. It was very painful for you. I got the four of wands and I got the ten of swords. It was a very painful ending. You need to heal. Don't bring that pain into your future, okay? You leave that where it belongs, so you need to heal from it. It might be too fresh to really think seriously about healing. But it might just be at the right time where you can start to heal and start facing things. So the Five of Cups, you have some kind of regret. I don't know if you did something. Maybe the arguing. I don't know why I keep feeling like it's just arguing because there's the Five of um swords the five of wands and then you got the five of cups you know you're all upside down emotionally but then here comes the page of cups and the seven of uh-uh go over there that's um my daughter's dog um and then the seven of swords so the page of cups You're going to have some kind of surprise. You might be feeling very intuitive right now. And you need to stop looking back. My dogs. <laughs> oh. You need to stop looking over your shoulder. Shoulder. Okay. When you do that, you're expecting the worst. And when you do that, the worst will come, okay? So that's the Page of Cups. And that's the Seven of Swords. You're expecting betrayal and deception. Not because you have a broken heart. Everything is going to come that way, you know? People, Everyone is going to betray you. Heal. Really and truly heal, heal, heal. You got the Ace of Wands and you got the Judgment card on top of the Broken Heart. You're going to have a new project, okay? I think you're going to come up from this Broken Heart and you're going to feel a rebirth and you're going to feel brand new. So I got the Ace of Wands and the Judgment card. So there's going to be some kind of renewal. Something new is starting. Something creative. That has the, um, the potential for growth. And this is a new phase of your life. A new phase coming. You forgave yourself and you are forgiving others. And there is a rebirth for you. And the Page of Pentacles. Let's see. There's the Queen of Wands, and I got the Devil card. So now this might be an energy in your environment that is not good for you. Um, Tickle. I have the Queen of Wands here, and I got the Devil card. Maybe this is the energy, maybe it was a fire energy that um, that hurt you. And the devil card above that.
The Page of Pentacles. Manifestations, I see. The card says meeting through work, practical, not romantic, study, finances. But I say you're manifesting, um, manifesting maybe money. I feel that the person... Um, Hey, sir, sir, thank you. <laughs> sorry. <laughs> I'm not sorry. That's my, my little dog. He's just too adorable. Oh, man, he was chewing on his foot. He was, you know, I guess his foot, paw was itching. So anyway, so this person, this is Queen of Wands might be the person who hurt you. And what the devil is telling you is that you need to go and um, do some shadow work, okay? You really do need to start facing that past. Because the past has been very painful for you. Okay? There's a change. It's the end of a cycle and the beginning of something new. There was chaos and confusion. But it's not the end, okay? You go face the shadow. And on top of the devil came the world. You will be able to achieve your goal or goals. You just got to set your mind to it. Keep it here. Don't let go. Feel it. Feel it. I mean, you of course have to work towards it. You might have to work in the in the daily humdrum of this place where we live, you know. But you could still be focusing on what you need to focus on. I love you guys. You take care, and I will chat with you soon. Bye.